With the European part of the F1 season now well underway, the Panasonic Toyota Racing Team is well prepared for one of the sport's defining races, the Monaco Grand Prix in Monte Carlo. You know, Monaco, one of the greatest races of the year. I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an icon as, in terms of Formula One. I think you, you watch any driver do a flying lap in Monaco, and I believe they earn their salary for the year here. So, But you still have the, the great atmosphere of being in, in Monaco. You know, the, the, the glitz of it all, the glamour of it all. Combine that with Formula One racing, and you, you generate an enthusiasm, a passion, that you probably don't get in too many circuits at the moment in Formula One. There's no question that Monaco attracts a glamorous crowd, but in pure racing terms, this is a uniquely challenging circuit. During the course of the 78-lap Grand Prix, drivers make around 4,000 gear changes. Uh, it is a circuit which is uh, mechanically very demanding um, because uh, there is obviously a lot of uh, gear changes because you're always moving in the lower part of the gear ratios. That means you're basically uh, having a lot of gear changes between every corner, uh, shifting up and down and uh, it's generally very demanding as well for the brakes. Uh, because of the low average speed and because of the, the lack of uh, straight lines where you would cool down your brakes, uh, consequently the, the average temperatures of the brakes are very, very high, uh, which means you have to be very careful about your brake cooling. As always, aerodynamics play a significant role. Monaco's low-speed corners demand a unique package with a huge amount of downforce. The aero package obviously will be our maximum downforce package. We're not so concerned about base drag. So you can see appendages going on the car which wouldn't normally be on in terms of efficiency. You'll also see different cooling options, different louver arrangements on the car uh, to try and get as maximum cooling. Uh, you tend to try and get as much front balance on the car, aero balance, so big front wings. Um, and uh, really the car is trimmed for maximum downforce. That increased downforce can be clearly seen when comparing the rear wing from a high-speed circuit with the steeply angled wing from Monaco. But beyond aerodynamics, Monte Carlo presents many other special challenges that aren't seen at any other circuit. It starts from the average speed, which is the lowest uh, of the championship. Uh, it continues with the surrounding of the circuits because you have no surrounding, you have no runoff area. The cars are very close to the race and very close to the public. That's probably that what makes it for us so special. That's the only place where you really feel, you hear, you smell the speed of the cars. And for me, every new Monaco Grand Prix is just exceptional. It's really where I, I really feel what, uh, what I'm doing. <laughs> This passion is echoed across the Panasonic Toyota racing team as they prepare the TF108 to do battle at Monaco, one of the all-time great Formula One venues.